happy Mother's Day, the 13th, I don't know, it's May, and it's also 8.30 at night. I got up at 11.45 at noon, my aunt and my grandmother came over and we had a really nice brunch. It was a beautiful day here until about 7 o'clock. Then it kind of clouded over and cooled down back into the 60s. But we had an awesome brunch, eggs, bacon, quiche, lots of fruit, muffins and stuff, and toast. It was really, really good. And then we went out and we had a disaster of a dinner, which I will entail later tonight. Right now, I'm going to head over pick up Ken, and I've got to go get gas again because I drove all over Ohio this weekend. At least yesterday. I haven't actually had the car out at all today. But we've got kind of a beautiful sunset over there. Come on, flip. It's pink. Focus on it. It's beautiful. I'm going to go drive into that. All right, guys. It's about 1130. We're going to go into that restaurant story now. I know I filmed the last clip. Uh, about an hour or two ago, I went downtown and got gas. I burned through a half a tank of gas this weekend. It sucked. Anyways, put 40 bucks in, now it's full. So, we get to this restaurant. We took three cars, right? The first two got in, we got seated. Uh, it had a little bit of a problem being seated. The hostess took us into the main dining room, looking for the party room to see if it was full. They had two party rooms. The first one was full, and she said, well, you guys wait here, I'm gonna go talk to my manager. Okay, I guess we'll wait in the dining room with all these people trying to eat their meal. So we've got, a, uh, eight of us got there first. There were 11, the other three were about five minutes behind. They had to stop at the store. So we're standing there, all these people are looking. Waitress comes back five minutes later. It's like, okay, we're gonna take you into the back party room. All right, that was awkward, let's go. So we go in, we sit down, we order our drinks. We decided to order pitchers to make it easy since there's 11 of us. We got lemonade and iced tea. So they bring those two out in pitchers, about a gallon size, and then 11 32 ounce big glasses, right? Well, you empty that pitcher in about three glasses and it took them 10 minutes to realize that and come back with more pitchers. And they still only brought one more of each, which we finished in another five minutes. So then the, the last car of our party showed up, the last three, my aunt, my uncle, and my grandmother, or my mom, and they pulled in the parking lot and noticed smoke coming from the back of the building. Isn't that a great first impression when you, walk, when you drive in and there's tons of smoke? Turns out the dumpster's on fire. They've got flames coming out of this thing five feet in the air. It is just freaking blazing. So they're running out there with a garden hose, you know, 15 pounds of pressure, and a fire extinguisher that you would have found in something like a Ferrari Mondial from the 80s. It's tiny. This thing's meant to put out candles for frig's sake. So they get back there and they're just spraying the hose up there. It's like no big deal. The thing's three feet away from the building. It's hot. There's ashes going everywhere. So then they open the back door, right? Well, the back door is in our party room that we were in. So the room is just filling with smoke and it stinks. They got the fire out ended up calling the uh, fire department who came out after it was 90% out and probably just sprayed more water in there. Thought it was stupid and left. So there's a, there's a nice impression. Then we get to the food, right? This is what you go to a restaurant for to eat food. You're hungry, you need to eat. So I figured, how badly can you screw up a pizza? So I just got a plain cheese pizza. I'm not much of a food guy, you know that. Look at me. So I ordered the pizza, everybody else ordered their meals, and they brought out eight of them. Eight meals came out. Okay, where's the other three? We asked, they dumped them on the floor. So how long does it take to make a couple turkey sandwiches? They took 20 minutes. Restaurant wasn't that busy. They brought the turkey sandwiches out. There's more hair than food in it. Nice. So we've got a bad drink experience. Part of the restaurant was on fire, and then they filled our room with smoke. It wouldn't move us anywhere else, so it stunk. And the meals were terrible. My pizza came out, and it looked okay from a distance. Once I got close to it, I noticed the puddle. There's a puddle of oil on top of the pizza, about a quarter inch deep. I would have needed a hose and a relatively small pump to pump the oil off of it, which I did with a napkin, and it was wringing wet. So I tried the first piece. It was pretty bad. Kind of tasted like corrugated cardboard with maybe a little bit of cheese on sauce and some salsa. It wasn't red sauce. It was like salsa. Still tomatoes. Wasn't good. I ended up eating one and a half pieces of this 12 cut pizza. She asked if I wanted a box for the rest of it and I said no. I kind of felt bad for the waitress though. You know, she didn't make the food. She did a pretty bad job seating us. We ended up tipping $5 on a $60 meal. God! What a terrible experience from a terrible restaurant. On tap. Don't go there. Other than that, though, I guess it was a good Mother's Day. We went back to their house afterwards. We had a really good dessert. Apple pie, some chocolate thing, and then they decided to put raspberries on it, which was unique, but good. Um, and then we came back here, talked with Kenan for a little bit, and got gas in the car, and that's it. I'm sorry I didn't really film much today. But uh, the, the restaurant experience, it was more funny than just 
piss off. You know, life's all about interpretations, right? You got to interpret what happens to you and decide how you want to feel about it. If you want to feel bad and get pissed off and ruin your day, then do it. If not, I thought it was funny. I mean, the place is on fire. They don't know how to seat you. They don't know how to get drinks and they don't know how to make food without dumping it on the floor and bringing it out with hair in it. And it's still terrible. And let me tell you, I've been in the bathroom for the last hour. So guys, just don't go to ONTAP, all right? Happy Mother's Day.